Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today's Battlefield 5 video is a news update. This is particularly to do with update number 4. It's inspired by a tweet that was posted by Battlefield Bulletin earlier today and in particular to do with the delay of update number 4 coming out. I'll talk you through why it's been delayed and what else we can expect in the next update to Battlefield 5. So let's start off by showing you this tweet from Battlefield Bulletin. They say the Battlefield 5 Lightning Strikes update number 4 has been postponed for next week as you can see. As soon as DICE has a lock date they'll share it with you. This is almost a carbon copy of something that Jeff Braddock said on Reddit. He also has a few other posts on Reddit that were put out today that also confirm this. So all of those bug fixes and glitches you thought would be dealt with this week, unfortunately we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for that. There has been some speculation as to why exactly it's been delayed. I can't find any absolute confirmation from anyone from EA or DICE, but it does look like it's to do with the flickering light and camera issues on the parrot camera on the respawn screen. Now they're taking this very seriously because there is the genuine concern it could could affect people with epilepsy or other light sensitive health issues. So I tip my hat to EA and DICE actually trying to look after their player base in a physical sense. Unfortunately for them it does highlight this particular saying, if you've got game problems I feel bad for you son, I've got 99 problems and a glitch definitely is one. So like I said the date of the actual release of the update hasn't been confirmed and as soon as that happens they're going to let us know on Twitter and on Reddit and all of the regular places that you'd find out any of this information so make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled for that. So that's all the important stuff, but what else can we expect from update number 4? Well they're obviously dealing with the aneurysm inducing light show you get when you're trying to respawn, but the confirmed fixes are as follows. You can find this through the quality of life tracker, I'll link it in the description so you can check it out yourself if you want to. So for any of you that are still experiencing the end of round screen not reporting the correct company coins, that has been fixed on all platforms. Next up is a PS4 specific issue to do with combined arms. So in Hot Pursuit the mission changes the requirements on the basis of difficulty and this made it so that players were unable to finish the mission. There's a fix coming with the next update for this one. Console players were often reporting controller vibration not working on grand operations as intended and this has also been rectified. A surprisingly short list actually for the next update but I suppose that's a good thing. Lots of the previous fixes that were implemented on the 13th and 14th of February still seem to be going strong but I think I think it's safe to assume that it's not going to work for everyone all the time so if you are experiencing any issues at all make sure you're reporting it to the right places so it can get seen to sooner rather than later. There will be some more fixes and update news to come out tomorrow so that's the 27th of February but it seemed a good idea to post this video today since all of that information about the delayed update came out today. So if you want to know more about it keep your eyes peeled tomorrow on Twitter and Reddit as always. There's also been a very exciting announcement from Westy. He says on this tweet that in the second week of March, he's going to be heading to Dice Studios in Stockholm to play some Firestorm. So the Firestorm train, I think, has officially started rolling. So it looks like we're only going to have to wait for another two weeks for even more information about Firestorm to come out. As soon as I get any of that information myself, I'll be sure to post a video about it to keep you guys up to date. So that is all the news I have for you for today. Let's just nip over and say a quick thank you to my Dame Operatives, those of you guys supporting the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys I'm able to make content as often as I do. Hopefully with a bit more support, I can do it even more in the future. So if you want to become a patron yourself, there'll be a link in the description and the pinned comment. So make sure you head over there if you want to support the channel. If you found this video useful or entertaining, hit that like button. If you're new around here and you want to keep up to date with even more content hit that sub button too don't forget the bell button as well because youtube is being absolutely horrendous at notifying people lately and as always share this video wherever you like until next time that's dame over peace